In Ann Voskamp's book, The Broken Way, she said, maybe it isn't enough to believe in Jesus. Maybe I have to believe that Jesus believes enough in me to choose me. Robert Schuler had a book entitled, Believe in the God Who Believes in You. Joel Osteen, in his book, Your Best Life Now, said that God believes in you more than you believe in yourself. Joyce Meyer has said many times, God believes in you. T.D. Jakes, God believes in you. This is also a favorite teaching from Rob Bell. All my life, I've heard people talk about believing in God. But God believes in us in you, in me. I mean, faith in Jesus is important, but what about Jesus? faith in us. So God has faith? That word that means to hope in what we cannot see? Does that describe God? On the contrary, 1 John 3.20 says that God is greater than our heart and He knows everything. God does not have faith that will do what pleases Him. The Bible says we can't do what pleases God. That's why He gave us the Holy Spirit to cause us to walk in His statutes. He graciously intervened against the will of our wicked hearts because He knows exactly who we are. Hebrews 4.13 says no creature is hidden from His sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Avoid man-centered garbage like believe in yourself because God believes in you. The Bible says to die to yourself and believe in God, who sent his son Jesus, the image of the invisible God, the author and perfecter of our faith. All who believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And that's enough, Ms. Voskamp, when we understand the text.